Now, one last uh, importation, I promise. Uh, we're going to import a uh, CSV file from a URL. Now, this you can't do normally within the file menu. So, you go file, import data, CSV. It demands that it's on the file system. So, I cancel there. What you want to do is you want to add an operator to your process. So, hit the import data, read URL, double click that guy. That'll add the operator to your process. Click on him. Open the properties into the URL. I just picked a random uh, URL from the web mining the net.com slash p100.csv. Uh, the separator is just a comma. And we'll leave that as it is. And then just run your process. Actually, no, let's, uh, let's save that to a CSV file. Um, actually, let's just store it directly in the repository. How about that? Repository access store. We'll click him. Now, you, now to connect two operators together, you want to drag from one to the other. So click on that one, drag over to this little guy until he highlights, and then do that. Okay, and then give it a, uh, a repository entry name over here. So pick uh, my downloaded CSV. And just hit to run the process, and that'll download the uh, CSV from the web and store it in your repository. Okay, and you get a little beep and some green lights. And you're good to go. Let's take a look in the repository. We got the downloaded CSV data. Okay, let's make sure it uh, actually works. So let's double click that guy. And look at the uh, data. And it looks like we downloaded the data from the web. Okay.